Hello, Warren Wildcat families. I'm so happy to invite you to join us for our Black History Celebration at Warren Elementary School. Our students have been working on researching and celebrating African Americans throughout this month. Uh, we've got varied projects, students singing, and uh, they've done research and have done artwork. So I hope you enjoy this celebration. Thank you for joining us. Have a good evening. Welcome to the Warren Wildcats Special Black History Month Celebration! Woo! Hello again everybody. Uh, throughout the month of February, Black History Month, we've been learning about a lot of famous African Americans. There's almost too many to count. Some of the students here we've been learning about, of course, Jackie Robinson, Broke the Baseball Color Barrier, Rosa Parks, Trailblazer of the Civil Rights Movement, Mr. Obama, 44th President of the U.S., Althea Gibson, the Color Barrier Breaker in Tennis, Frederick Douglass down here, the Abolitionist Movement, Harriet Tubman, the conductor of the Underground Railroad, Dr. Martin Luther King, leader of the Civil Rights Movement, and George W. Carver, plant scientist, educator, and humanitarian. Here we have an amazing piece of artwork. This is Diana Ross. Leading into the next presentation, we're gonna have Mr. Poliga and Mrs. Newton's kids highlighting some of the most famous African-American people for Black History Month. Hi, I am Jackie Robinson. I was born on January 31 in 1919 in Cairo, Georgia. I was a basketball star, track star, and basketball star in high school. I had four siblings, Mac, Edgar, Frank, and Willa May. I was raised in poverty with them and my, and my mother, uh, Mother Mally Robinson. I was the first UCLA student to get four varsity letters in four, in four different sports. I was lieutenant in the Army once. I was arrested for not moving to the black to the back of the segregated bus when I was sitting to next to a light-skinned woman. I was court-martialed by but one. After the Army, I signed for the Negro Leagues in the, for the Kansas City Monarchs in, this, in 1945. In the same year, I was signed on to the Brooklyn Dodgers. Then I led the team to six World Series wins, and then I was put into the Hall of Fame. My name is Maya Angelou. I am an African-American poet. I grew up in Arkansas. I was born April 4th, 1928. I had a pretty rough childhood. I will experience firsthand racial prejudices. I didn't speak for five years in my yoke. I accomplished many things in my life. I'm an author, actress, screenwriter, and civil rights artist. 
I was the first black woman to conduct a cable car in San Francisco. I speak six different languages. I wrote and directed several movies. I became famous because I'm a poet dancer. I am best known for my 1969 memoir. I know why the caged bird sings. Here is a quote from one of my poems. You may not control all of the events that happen to you, but you can decide not to be reduced by them. This is Barack Obama. I was the 44th president of the United States of America. I am, I am 59 years old and I was born on August 4th, 1961. I was the first African American president of the United States of America. I won the election in 2008. My wife's name is Michelle Obama and I have two daughters named Sasha and Myla. Before becoming president, I was authority in Chicago, Illinois. After being elected president, I work hard for women's rights establish health care reform and I work to end the war on t terrorism. In 2009 I became the fourth president to receive the Nobel Peace Prize. In the last year of my second term I spoke at two events that meant a lot to me. The 50th anniversary of the Civil Rights March from Salem to Montgomery and the of the National Museum of America, African American history and culture, or union is not yet perfect, but we are getting closer, I said in Selama, and that's why we celebrate. I told those attending the museum opening of the Washington, mindful of that our work is not yet done. My name is John Henry. I was born in Virginia, 1840. I grew up as a slave alongside my parents and moved west in search of freedom where I met the love of my life. Later, I went and helped the railroad workers to get some land. A salesman came along and I challenged him to lay and secure all of the tracks. We moved along and then started going through the mountain. I won the challenge but later died of exhaustion. I hope this will teach you that if you try hard enough, anything is possible. Thank you. Bye. Hi, my name is Jay-Z. I was born on December 4th of 1969 in Brooklyn, New York. My mother's name is Gloria. My dad left me when I was little, so my mom had to raise me. I became famous by making rap music. Some of my accomplishments in life are winning 22 Grammys, making an album, and getting a record label. After a while, I became a billionaire. Got houses in L.A., the Hamptons, and New York. Then I founded Rockefeller Records, sold it for millions of dollars, and became president and CEO of Rockefeller Records again. I am worth $1 billion, and I'm still making rap music today. Hi, I'm C.G. Walker, and I was born in 1867 and died in 1919. My childhood was all about me born on a cotton plantation. My parents were slaves, but got set free. I also was the fifth child, but the first to be born free. Things you'll find really interesting about me is that I was a laundress and made my own hair products made for exactly this black woman. Things you'll really like best about me. I'm a good, helpful person, and I do things different with my life. And I became famous off my hair products. And who do you know who was born 1867 and made their own hair products? Me. I was the first black woman to make my own money. Hello, my name is Mae Jensen. I am famous for being one of the first African American women to be in space. I was born October 17, 1956 in Decatur, Alabama. When I was only three years old, my family moved to Chicago, Illinois. My mama was an elementary school teacher and my daddy was a maintenance supervisor. Here's some inter interesting facts about me. I went into orbit aboard the space shuttle Endeavour in 1992 and I became the, first, the very first African American woman to be in space. I am also a trained dancer and built my own dance studio. And did you know that I even brought one of my dance posters aboard the space shuttle? I began college at Stanford University to study chemical engineering 
engineering when I was only 16. And I now run a bio, bio tent corp. And now I'll tell you how I became famous. So in 1987, I was the first, I was the very first African American woman to be accepted into the astronaut training program. Soon after, I became the first black female astronaut in space. I now have made history. So that's me, Mae Jemson. I hope you like my story. My name is Michael Jackson. I was born in Gary, Indiana. I was inspired by uh, James Brown, and I wanted to be like him. So I joined a band with my brother that was named the Jackson Five, and I made a few songs with them. Until in 1979, I did a solo career and made a few songs in a year. And until the 1980s, I made more songs at the time, and my songs became really popular. And I kept winning Grammy Awards. I won 13 Grammy Awards in, in the 1980s and 90s. Until 1992, I was crowned king of pop and kept making songs. Until 2009, I died. And June 25th, and my songs are still remade and uh, uh, still remade in 2009. Um. Hi, my name is Mary Jane Blodge. I was born January 11, 1971. I am 50 years old. I was born and raised in New York. I had a rough childhood. My mother, Cor Blodge, was a nurse. My dad, Thomas Blodge, was a jazz musician. He played the bass guitar. I am known for being one of the best African-American singer, songwriter, actress, and Philadelphia. My career began when I signed up to Uptown Records. I released 13 studio, studio al albums. Eight of them had went multi-platinum. I made 25 biggest hits with <clears throat> songs like Be Without You, Not Gonna Cry, and I'm Going Down. Drake and I made a song called Mr. Wrong. I even play roles in movies like Body Cam, Mudbox, and Prison Song. I support charities including Red Cross American Foundation for AIDS Research. I am Sojourner Truth and I was born in Isabella Bunkery around 1797. My accomplishments were that I became an outspoken avatar for the abolition of slavery, temper and equal women's rights. I was the first black woman to successfully bring a lawsuit against a white man. I moved to New York City in 1828 where I worked for a local minister. My Civil War worked earned me a invitation to meet Abraham Lincoln in 1864. My family bought me freedom for $20 and helped me successfully sue the return of my five-year-old son, Peter, who was illegally sold in slavery in Alabama. I am here in Townsend. I was a American slave. I want to be free. I escape and on some times I did 13 missions to help 300 slaves. I, in family and friends, and William helped me too. He, then we made a safe house. Then we made the railroad track. We went all the way to Canada. I died in May, May 10th. 1930 13. I am Robert Small. I am an influential African American. I escaped by commanding a boat and sailing to freedom during the Civil War. I dressed up as a ship captain and disguised and disguised myself in a hat as a pursued other ships, gave head signals, pretend to be the ship captain. Captain, I helped my helped other people escape to freedom, as well, including my son and wife. I served the wait. I served in the Uni, Uni Navy and became one of the first African American to be a pilot in the 
pilot in the Navy. I opened a school for African American children. Later, I became a politician and forgot for the right of all people. I even met Abraham Lincoln and Contran Avalon Lincoln convinced Abraham Lincoln to allow African American and man to serve in the Union Army. My name is Dr. Beth A. Brown, and I was an African American astronomer. I loved, sci I loved science at an early age. I lived with most of my family in Virginia, Roanoke. I went to the University of Michigan, and then went to the to Howard University, where I was the first black woman to get a PhD in astronomy. I was the first African American astronomist. I started to work for NASA and I compiled and analyzed the first large complete sample of X-ray observations of elliptical galaxies. I studied black holes and galaxies too. When I was in school, I was a star student. Everyone liked me and I was fun to be around. I died on October 5th, 2008. I inspired a lot of people. Hi, I'm Marian Anderson. I was born February 17th. 1902 in Philadelphia. My father died when I was very young and we were very poor. My mother had to take care of me and my two siblings. I got a job washing hotel stairs and then I was the first African American to sing at the White House. I was very young when people figured out that I was very good at singing. I had to go to public schools and get very, and people were very rude to me. Hi, I am Rosa Parks. I was born February 4th, 1913. I died from natural causes. I died October 24th, 2005 at the age of 92 in my apartment on the east side of Detroit. I and my husband never had children and we live out her only siblings. Her, my husband, brother, and mother all died from cancer between 1977 and 1979. In eight, 1987, she co-founded the, Ro the Rosa and Raymond Parks Instituted or Self-Development to serve Detroit young. She grew up in Tuskegee, Alabama. Okay, let's start from the beginning. I am Malcolm Little, but just call me Malcolm X. My mother was named Lucy Little. My father was named Earl Little. I was born in 1925 in Alma, Nebraska. I passed in 1965. But as, as I said, let's start from the beginning. When I was six years old, my father was murdered by the Ku Klux Klan. After that, after when my father died, my mother was mentally ill, so she, she couldn't take care of me. And I was put into several foster homes. I did some dumb things in life that I was not proud of. Eventually, I was sentenced a decade in the slammer for suspected robbery and breaking and entering in 46. Then I was in parole. I joined the Nation of Islam, which was a so-called uh, quality rights organization. Had me believe the white man was the devil. I had a new name, Malcolm X. I did lots of speeches in 64. I found out Elijah had kids with little girls. I was sentenced for 90 days, then I quit. I made several black right groups, even talking to Martin Luther King Jr. Came to realize the white men were not the devil. Then a lie was not happy. I was about to make a 
when I was about to make a speech in the Auburn Ballroom at NYC, three men were extremely familiar. I wondered, where have I seen them before? And he pulled out a sawed off shotgun, fired it, and everything went black. I am Marcus Garvey. I was born August 17, 1887. I was the youngest out of 11 children. I have four grandchildren, Marissa Richard Garvey, Harris Amy Garvey, and Jamie Garvey. I was the first black American nationalist. And I have two, uh, I have two beautiful kids and a wife named Amy Ashwood Garvey. She died July 25th, 1973 at the age of 77 with two kids named Marcus Mosey III and Julius Winston. Hey everybody, Mr. Ellery here. Next up in the presentation, we're gonna be having our kindergarten, first and second graders doing This Little Light of Mine.
Thank you for joining us. I hope you had a good evening. You enjoyed seeing our warm wildcats share their knowledge and their um, pride in African Americans' contributions to our country. We are, we're proud of our students and we're pleased to have had you join us today. Thank you and we'll see you again soon.